British American novelist Salman Rushdie has been taken off the ventilator and able to speak again, a day after he was stabbed at least 10 times. The attacker, meanwhile, pleaded not guilty to attempted murder. Raymond Young reports. Showing few emotions, Hadi Mata wore handcuffs and shackles as he appeared at a New York County courthouse for his arraignment. The 24-year-old, who had no criminal record, pleaded not guilty to charges of attempted murder and assault. Prosecutors alleged that Matar's attack was premeditated and targeted, having traveled to the scene from his New Jersey home by bus and purchasing a ticket for the event days ago. He has been remanded without bail. Matar allegedly rushed the stage at the Chautauqua Institution and stabbed Salman Rushdie at least 10 times as he was just beginning a lecture on freedom of expression. The 75-year-old novelist may lose an eye, but was now off the ventilator and able to talk again. Rushdie has been facing death threats since 1989, months after publishing his novel The Satanic Verses, which some Muslims see as blasphemous. U.S. President Joe Biden expressed shock at the vicious attack and praised Rushdie for standing up to essential universal ideals. The global outpouring of grief was a sharp contrast to the sense of justice shared by many Iranians. This man in Tehran said Rushdie has finally paid for what he did, while another described the news as pleasing. Raymond Yang, HKIBC.